refuge and protect us early. And we are so happy to see you. Uh, our pastor is in the building. Give it up to the Apostle Raymond J. Keith and First Lady Joan B. Keith. More than 40 years right here in Louisville, building up ministry, doing what we can for the people. Right here in the California neighborhood of the West End of Louisville, 1716 Princess Street, in the heart of the city, with the people of the city, let's all say it together, in our hearts. This worship times here at Refuge in Kentucky Church, Tuesday night we have Bible study starting with 6.30 prayer. We have Friday night live at 7 p.m. Sunday morning, Sunday school at 9.30, and of course morning worship at 11 a.m. It is prayer time in the sanctuary. More things are wrought by prayer than the world can ever imagine. Uh, we are praying for uh, continuing prayers for the Hamby family, for the Bell family, continuing prayers for the Robinson family, for the McFarland family, prayers for the Daly family. I am so excited, and I know you are, to see Sister Asia Brain back in the building. And I am so excited to see Sister Yolanda Smith back in the building. And all of our prayers, we are still praying for you. We're going to turn this over into the hands of our youth choir as they bring our prayer selection. Then we will have our prayer by the First Lady of the Airways, Mother Joan D. Keith. Let us all say amen. amen. of it all. Hallelujah. And for that, we give you glory. We give you praise. Hallelujah. Oh, God. One songwriter said, Lord, if we had 10,000 tongues, we really could praise you enough. Hallelujah for what you've already done, Lord. Not for what you've already done, but what you're going to do that's in the making, Lord. Hallelujah. We give you thanks, Lord. Hallelujah. For you hold our tomorrow in your hand, Lord, and you hold our today in your hand, Lord, hallelujah, and we want to tell you thank you, Lord, hallelujah, Lord, we pray for those that are under the sound of our voice right now, Lord, hallelujah, so many problems, Lord, so many situations, Lord, so many sick, Lord, so many shut in, Lord, so many in crisis, Lord, hallelujah, but you are a mighty deliverer, glory to your name. And we want to tell you thank you in advance, Lord, for delivering, Lord, for setting free, Lord, hallelujah, for loosing the chains that have bound minds, hallelujah. Lord, we tell you thank you, Lord. Send your word, hallelujah, strengthen your servant, Lord, in the name of Jesus, glory to your name, Lord, hallelujah. Open up our eyes, open up our hearts, open up our understanding, Lord, hallelujah, that we will receive, hallelujah, your word on today, Lord, hallelujah. We praise you right now, God, because we know, glory, that you already have set the atmosphere, God, hallelujah, and you're moving right now, hallelujah, and for that, God, we tell you, thank you. And we give you praise, we give you glory, for it is already done. That's why we can tell you, thank you in advance, Lord, for it is done, hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord.
seated. We're going to hear our final selections from our choir, from our youth department. Again, every fourth Sunday is Youth Sunday, so come on out, bring your youth. That way they can sing in the choir, and they can sing in the praise team, and they can give their own black history moments. Amen? Amen. Uh, the next thing after we hear our youth choir will be our pastor to bring the morning word. Let us go for it in Jesus' name.
praise the Lord, everybody. Bless God. Thank God for our young people. Bless God, and I'm grateful that they are putting in the work. be an encouragement to all of us. Praise God. Almost made me want to change my message today to stand. Praise God. Stand for holiness. Stand for righteousness. King Jr., let it roll down the mountain like a mighty stream. Lord, help us. Praise God. I am just so honored and blessed to be the minister here at Bethany Green Kentucky Church. And it is such a joy, praise God, to share and minister to you. Praise God. And um, I've probably overdone it. I've spent time with my uh, daughters and we talked about Amen, how we can make the ministry better. Amen. And the brothers got quiet. <laughs> Amen. Because that normally means we're going to put you all to work, but that's not the thing today. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. But we, we, we talked about, amen, how we see ourselves and how folks see us. And I want to encourage you to see yourself better. Whoever you're sitting next to, just tell them, see yourself better. See yourself better. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. The Bible talks about that we ought not to think more highly of ourselves than we ought. Praise God. But I think we ought to think rather highly of ourselves. Y'all got quiet on that. <laughs> Praise God. We need to see that what God is making of us is something special. And we ought to feel good about it. I want to talk from the subject, I'll follow God. Praise God. Would you be kind enough to just tell whoever you are sitting next to, I'll follow God. Amen. And in, in, in these last days, it is um, looking harder and harder. like we want to follow God uh, because of the pressure that the world tries to put on us. And it's funny, I want to I wanna, I wanna just talk for a little bit because the world says that we ought not to judge them. But they constantly judge us. Amen. And I don't quite understand it. Amen. If you don't want me to judge you, why are you judging me? Praise God. And it seems like they are not going to be happy 
until I agree with them. Praise God. And in order to agree with them, I have to stop following God. Because where they are trying to lead us, praise God, um, is away from the tenets of God. It would seem to me, praise God, that um, they should be happy that we are not quoting scriptures all the time. That should make them shout. But that doesn't make them happy. Uh, not only do they not want me to quote scripture, but they want me to embrace, amen, um, demonology and ungodliness. Praise God. Amen. I David said, I've been young, and now I'm old. Praise God. And in that time, I've seen a lot of stuff. Praise God. And I've seen sinners sinning and feeling bad. Praise God. Now I see sinners sinning and boasting about it. Praise God. And want me to celebrate them in their confusion. Praise God. But I want to share with you, I'm going to follow God. Come on, tell whoever you're sitting next to, I'm going to follow God. And I, I, I recognize, I recognize, I recognize that I haven't given you a scripture. Praise God. I um, want to talk to you from Ephesians, the fifth chapter. But I want to talk about more than the fifth chapter. Praise God. And so I'd like to back up before I get to the fifth chapter. Talk to you about the uh, fourth chapter. And I think the verse that I want to start with there is the 29th verse. Where it says, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. But that which is good to the use of edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearer. Praise God. In other words, we need to be the catalyst that helps the sinner to understand there is a way out. You don't have to die in your sins. You don't have to keep on living in sin. <laughs> Glory to God. And you can start by just stop cussing. Let no corrupt community. Praise God. They tell us that we want to praise too much. Praise God. But we don't take the time to tell them we don't like hearing 
all the stuff you talk about mothers. Praise God. And we don't like our mothers and our sisters and our daughters to be referred to like dogs. Let no corrupt communication. And what Paul was saying to the church at Ephesus was grieve not the Holy Spirit of God whereby we are sealed unto the day of redemption. And I think the world doesn't want us to realize that we've been redeemed. Praise God. God has been good to us. Amen. And today I'm not really talking about you. I'm talking about me. Because I know where he brought me from. Praise God. And you would be out of your mind to try to get me to downplay what a mighty act that was. One songwriter put it like this. He said, oh, the joy that came to me when I knew that I was free. When my Savior found me and put his arms around me. Oh, the joy. And Praise God, I want to remind you that our enemy is cunning. And he doesn't want me to rejoice <laughs> over how good God has been to me. So he keeps trying to remind me where I used to live. Glory to God. How I used to be. Praise God. And I don't really need him to remind me. Because I remember where I was. And what I did. Glory to God. And I know that I don't deserve the redemption that he has bestowed. In my life. Praise God. I know that I ought to bust hell wide open. <laughs> Glory to God. Praise God. But it's just a tribute to the power of the God that I serve. Glory to God. That he could take a sinner like me. And turn my life completely around. Glory to God. Forgive my sins. And not only stop me from going to hell. Praise God. But prepare a place called heaven. Amen. We used to, amen, back in the day, Brother Kenzie, sing city called heaven. City called heaven. City call heaven my home. I've got to get there. Help me to get there. City call heaven. Praise God. And heaven is a prepared place. Glory to God. And I know I don't deserve to go there. Glory to God. But he prepared it for me. Amen. And then began to work on my life so that I would be ready, amen, to go there. It says, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamoring, glory to God, and evil speaking be put away. 
from you with all the malice that goes with that. Praise God. The reason the world is in trouble now, praise God, is there's so much anger. Amen. Folk are angry about all kinds of stuff. Amen. Don't pass me on the highway. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. So, to make you happy, I ought to be late to get to my job. And then you still ain't happy. Amen. You cussing me out while you in your car. Loud enough so I can hear it in my car. What a world. <laughs> what a world. Praise God. And then I make the mistake of making you really angry because I start praising him in my car. Praise God. Because I used to be like you. Amen. Cussing folk out. Oh, y'all ain't going to help me. Praise God. And I know I shouldn't admit to it, but Mama said, tell the truth. Shame the devil. Glory to God. And I hate that I was like that. Amen. At the drop of a hat, start cussing. Praise God. Working my way up to fighting. Oh, y'all ain't going to help me. Praise God. And used to be, praise God, I would talk you into we go outside and fight. But then I worked myself up, praise God, to starting inside and working our way outside in the fight. Oh, y'all ain't going to help me. Praise God. I know y'all are not like that. Y'all are crazy. Praise God. Now, you don't just cuss folk out. You don't just want to fight. You want to shoot and kill. Praise God. So that we have no recourse to even apologize tomorrow. Because we are dead today. Amen. Because we passed you on the highway. Because we cut in front of you as you were going into the market. Amen. Praise God. As expensive as stuff is, you should be glad we went in before you. So you could keep your money in your pocket. Just a little while. Y'all ain't going to. Praise God. Bible says, and be ye kind to one another. Tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. Here's where I got the theme for our lesson. Chapter 5, verse number 1, be ye therefore followers of God, as Dear children. And the beauty of that, praise God, is we don't want to follow God like we know it all. We want to follow God learning how to live. Praise God. One writer said, I've learned how to live holy. I've learned how to live right. What he was saying was, when I first came to the Lord, although the Lord accepted me, I didn't know all that I should have. Praise God. But the Lord loved me enough to put up with my ignorance and let me learn what's right for living. Praise God. So when you first saw me, praise God, I wasn't as sophisticated in my salvation as I am today. Praise God. But I must confess, a part of that sophistication has hampered my holy living. Why you say that, Pastor? Because you can get so sophisticated in God. 
but you don't bless them like you should. Oh, y'all ain't going to help me. Praise God. You begin to think that folk are looking at me. So I got to carry myself a certain way. Praise God. But mother used to say when I think of the goodness of Jesus, all that he has done for me, praise God, all that sophistication goes out the window. <laughs> because my soul begins to cry out. Uh, glory to God and I bless God. Bible says walk in love as Christ also has loved us and has given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savior. In other words, all of the dying, all of the bleeding, all of the suffering that he did was to send a sweet smell towards heaven because I was a stinking mess. Uh, I know we don't like to acknowledge that. But you weren't always as saved as you think. Praise God. You weren't always as holy as you pretended to be. Glory to God. Anytime you could tell somebody when they made you mad, you were going to take your salvation and lay it on the shelf. You wasn't fully saved. Praise God. The fact that you thought that you could lay it on the shelf. Lord, help us. Glory to God. Because what you were really saying is, praise God, although God has changed me, I'm not going to let that stop me from acting the fool when I get with you. Y'all ain't hearing me. Praise God. Because it is a hard thing for us to imagine a salvation where we don't have to be the one winning the fight. Where we can humble ourselves. And even if we know we are right, praise God, old folk used to say, we take the wrong. Glory to God. We've gotten away from all of that. Praise God. We've gotten away from that kind of living, recognizing that he died for us. Praise God. We didn't die for him. Praise God. He sacrificed for us. We didn't sacrifice for him. Glory to God. He brought us out of darkness into a powerful and a majestic light. Glory to God. And when we think about that, there ought to be a praise on our lips. Glory to God. Amen. And the enemy is not getting over because he gets the last word. The enemy is not getting over because he embarrassed us in some situation. Praise God. We understand the embarrassment. I, as I read in the book of Acts, the fifth chapter, praise God, the Bible says, fourth chapter, I guess, and, and some of the fifth chapter, uh, the, the, the apostles and and. And those that really were committed to God, they went out rejoicing that they were able to be beaten for the cause of Christ. Praise God. I don't know how they would handle themselves nowadays. Oh, y'all ain't going to help me. Praise God. The saints got shotguns. And, amen. Double barrel knives that they can hook on the guns. And, Praise God, telling everybody how y'all ain't going to help me. Praise God. See, y'all got quiet. Y'all don't have no praise. Amen. Because we might have some guns up in here. Amen. So sinners don't be coming fooling around thinking we're going to turn the other chief. Acting like Jesus and humbling ourselves. Praise God. Amen. Then he 
starts getting to the heart. He says, but fornication and all uncleanness and covetousness, let it not once be named among you as becoming saints. Praise God. Which means that we need to carry ourselves in such a way. Praise God. Not that we impress folk but that we are pleasing to God. Because folk might never forgive us. Praise God. Folk might never forget who we were. Praise God. Because they have a tendency to hold on. Amen. I remember having a sign in my office. Said when I'm right, nobody remembers. When I'm wrong, Nobody forgets. Glory to God. I'd like them to see, praise God, when I was good. But they don't remember. Y'all ain't going to help me. Praise God. But those things that Paul said I used to do, they don't forget. And they want to remind me who I used to be. I, I, I hear you preaching, Reverend, but I remember when you... Praise God. And unfortunately, I remember too. Praise God. It breaks my heart. Gets me around the altar crying and snotting. And amen. Pouring out my heart. Praise God. And you see me doing it. Praise God. But then you say I'm just doing it for show. So, so there seems to be no way that we can impress folk that the Lord is on our side. So we need to get to a place where we start forgetting about trying to impress folk. Praise God. But I just want to follow Jesus. Come on, tell your neighbor one more time. I just want to follow Jesus. Glory to God. Come on, one more time. I just want to follow Jesus. Glory to God. And when we remind ourselves. Praise God, where he brought us from. What he's doing with us. Even if folk don't see it, we know what he's done. Glory to God. And, amen, we know that whoremongers, unclean persons, covetous men, praise God, who are idolaters, they, 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 they have no inheritance in the kingdom. Praise God. So if we want an inheritance, we've got to make our calling and our election sure. Glory to God. I bless God. I enjoyed, amen, the young people this morning. Praise God. But what will bless me more is for them, praise God, to understand the God that we serve. Praise God. And understand that he's a forgiver. He's a lover. Praise God. He's a friend. And he wants to save them completely. Praise God. And I don't know how it is that, praise God, we can raise our children in the church. Praise God. And then they go away to school and forget what they learned at home. Praise God. Trying to impress their friends. Amen. Trying to be accepted by a world that will not accept you. How you know, Pastor? Because the story of the prodigal son is clear. Praise God. As long as he had something to give, folk played like they liked him. Praise God. But when he was broke, when he had nothing further to give, Bible said nobody joined with him. Praise God. And he was left destitute. And in that destitute state, glory to God, he found himself doing stuff that he would never have done at home. Glory to God. But I love the part that no matter how far down he got, he was still able to come to himself. Yeah. 
Ah, glory to God. And when there is a seed of God in your life, Amen. glory to God, which is why it is so impressive, it's so important for us to put seeds in their life. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I don't buy into the story that says, I'm going to let them make their own choice. Listen, you in my house, you going by my rules. And if you're going to learn what I learn, you're going to live like I live. Glory to God. And you can change that when you are grown. Praise God. But my friends, I don't care what your friends do. Praise God. As long as you're under these roofs, yeah. praise God, you're going by these yeah. roofs. Yes. Praise God. And that's the same thing in the house of God. Yeah. Praise God. When you accept fellowship in a congregation, yeah. praise God, you go by the rules of that congregation. Yeah. You don't want to go by those rules? Find another, because y'all ain't going to help me. But I'm preaching hard today. Glory to God. Because we never know how the enemy is trying to work. Praise God. And who he might use. And, and, and sometimes godly folk with good intentions can do things that are offensive. Praise God. And will hurt those who are not strong enough to bear. That's why Paul was able to say, if meat offend my brother, I will not eat meat. Praise God. Not because I can. God has blessed me and I fully understand that I can. But that soul is tender. And while they're tender, we're going to be careful. Come on. Tell your neighbor. Say neighbor. That soul is tender. And I need to be careful. Now come on, clap your hands and give God. There are three things that I'm going to try to bring this to a close. Praise God. What the devil, amen, tries to do is to destroy respect and love in mankind. Doesn't want us to be kindly affectioned one to another. Praise God. And part of that, amen, and the devil hops on it, praise God, uh, in black folk is how our ancestors were treated. Praise God. And we're still upset about the hell that they caught. Praise God. And so it's hard for us to forgive and live with other folk. Praise God. Because we are holding on to a past. Praise God. With folk. But we want God to forget our past. Y'all ain't going to help me. Praise God. Amen. Um, uh, gospel preachers usually get into a flow. And in that flow, they like feedback from the congregation. Praise God. And so I'll say something and you'll say, Amen. Glory to God. I'll say something else and you'll say, Say that, preacher. I'll say something else, and we get into a back and forth flow. Amen. Praise God. And in that flow, there is a rhythm. And in that rhythm, praise God, there is joy. And before you know it, we're standing on our feet. We are lifting our hands. We are kind of dancing even in our place. And folk wonder how, praise God, could you go through that? Praise God. With all the hell that you were catching. Praise God. The reason we could go through it. Praise God. Because we weren't looking at our past. Glory to God. But we were 
dreaming of our future. Glory to God. Stony the road we trod. Bitter the chastening rod. Glory to God. All oh, the hell that we were catching. Praise God. We didn't allow that to stop us from facing the rising sun. <laughs> Glory to God. Because we knew, amen, one of these days. God was going to bring us out. Yeah. And that was our hope. That was our, amen. Uh, without that, amen, we were of all men most miserable. Yeah. We needed, praise God, to know, praise God, that God was going to bring us through. In order for him to bring us through, we had to follow yeah. Praise God. And uh, uh, I tried in some places to share with you, amen, the stories that help you to understand that you can trust God. Yeah. I tried that by showing you, amen, the traveling journey of Israel out of Egypt. Yeah. And God, the Bible says, brought them out with a strong hand. Praise God. They came out blessing and praising God with a dance in their feet. Praise God and praise on their lips. Praise God. But then God spoke to Moses and said, stop right here. Glory to God and turn in. Amen. Between Mildal and the sea. I want you to camp over against Belsifoon, yeah. glory to God, because we've got some unfinished business. Tap your neighbor, say unfinished business. Unfinished. Yeah. Glory to God. I need you, glory to God, to be here so the enemy that's following you can catch up to you. Yeah. Praise God. Now, immediately our thought is, I don't want him to catch up to us. Glory to God. I'm trying to get away from him. Praise God. You need to understand you're not God. You don't know the plan. Praise God. And God was trying to bring Israel to a point that he could say the enemy that you see today. Oh, I feel like preaching now. You'll see him again no more forever. Glory to God. But in order for that to happen, I need you to trust me. Praise God. And stop right here. Glory to God. Before the sea. Amen. Over against Belsifoon. Glory to God. And God spoke to Moses and told Moses, said, Moses, what is that in your hand? Praise God. Moses said, it's a rod. God said, stretch it out. Yeah. Praise God. But the church nowadays have forgotten how to stretch out the rod. Yeah. We've forgotten how to trust God with our life. We've forgotten how, amen, to camp between Mildor and the sea. Glory to God over against Belsafu. And we ought not to be cowering there. Glory to God. We ought to be praising God there. Praise God. You don't know like I know what he's done for me. Glory to God. You can't tell it. You got to let me tell it. Hallelujah. What he has done for me. <laughs> Glory to God. Y'all don't remember praise God but he brought me out of the Maori clay. That's what he's done for me. Y'all ain't hearing me. Glory to God. I was sinking deep in sin. I was far from the peaceful shore. Glory to God. That's what he done for me. <laughs> Glory to God. Now we have to wait for the organist to play and we need the praise team to get up and wear themselves out. And, amen. A few folk in the congregation to wave their hand all over the place. But if we remember where he brought us from. <laughs> Glory to God. There ought to be a praise. 
on our lips. Glory to God ought to be a dance in our feet. Uh, we ought to remember this ain't the first time uh, that I was in trouble. Uh, glory to God. And every time uh, that I was in trouble before, uh, he brought me out. Uh, come on, tell your neighbor, say, he brought me out. Uh, glory to God. And if you just think about uh, how you felt when he brought you out, uh, you ought to have a praise on your lips. You ought not to have to wait for the preacher to say, say amen. You ought to have an amen down in your heart. You ought to have a praise on your lips. You ought to have glory to God that experience that you've been through. Glory to God. Now, I keep remembering what it was in my life. Glory to God. I was already saved. Already living for the Lord. But I made a mistake. And that mistake was about to cost my life. And the devil said I got you now. Glory to God. And he said I'm going to put my foot on your throat. And you'll never rise again. But I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Glory. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus. He lifted me. He let me to know there's no weapon that formed against you that can prosper when I'm on your side. Yes. When God is on your side, he's more than the enemy against you. I come to tell you, I didn't understand it. I felt broken, laid out on the altar, crying and begging and pleading with God. Have your way, glory to God. Don't let me die in my mess, glory to God. Don't let my life, my God, be a byword. Help me, glory to God. And the Lord reminded me, if you follow me, I'll help you. If you trust me, I'll bring you out. I come to tell you, I come to follow. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, I'll follow Jesus. Yes, I will. Glory to God. Why will you do it? Because every time in my past that I needed somebody, he stepped in. If he did it before, he'll do it again. Yeah, he's that good. I don't care how broken you are. I don't care how confused you are. I don't care how lost you are. If you trust him, he'll bring you out. I come to tell you, like, <laughs> praise God. Uh, the prophet ha, who was in the belly of the whale. Ha, his name was Jonah. Ha, praise God. He said these weeds ha, are wrapped around my neck. Ha, and I'm going to die ha, in this situation. Ha, but somehow ha, God spoke to his heart. Ha, and uh, ha, he said to the Lord, ha, though ha, I've turned away ha, from serving like I should, ha, yet ha, will I look again ha, to your holy temple. Ha, and God ha, brought him out ha, at the well ha, to drive him to the bed of the sea. Ha, glory to God to spit him out ha, on dry land. Ha, oh God, ha, what a mighty God. Ha, we serve. I come to tell you, if God could do it for Jonah, he can do it for us. I don't care what you're thinking. I don't care how you're feeling. What you ought to do is trust the God that saved you, that picked you up, that 
that turned you around, that planted your feet on solid ground. You ought to have a place how good God has been. You ought to lift your hand. You ought to open your mouth. You ought to bless God because God has been good. I said he's been that good And if I don't hear no music If I don't hear no sing singing I still got a praise Down in my heart I still got joy Like a river Running over Letting the world know I don't care what it looks like I will follow God Stand to your feet. Lift your voice. Open your mouth. And just tell him thank him. Glory to God. I know, I know, I know. You say, what am I thanking for? Praise God. And if that's what you are thinking, you ought to sit back down. Because there ought to be some stuff that you can think of. That you were in trouble. And he brought you out. I know you thanked him before. But you ought to thank him again. If he's been good, you ought to open your mouth. And you ought to just thank him. We are practicing the win. We get together. We are practicing the win. We get around the throne. And we remember how he kept us. Thank you. How he fed us. Thank you. How he blessed us. Thank you. How he kept us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God. Glory to God. Writer said, if I had 10,000 tongues, I couldn't thank him and praise him enough because how good he's been in my life. Oh my God. Glory to God. Sometimes you've gone into the hospital and, and you thought in your mind, I might not Come out, y'all ain't hearing me. Glory to God, and He brought us out. Oh God, Hallelujah! Uh, folk might not understand, but there's a there's a there's a praise. Uh, some of us have gone into the courtroom, uh, and in the courtroom.